Jintaya Domi, or Jintan for short, is being pestered by a girl named Meiko Honma, also known as Menma, who only he can see. Menma says she has a wish she always wanted to fulfill, but she can't remember what it was. Soon she recalls that the dream was to have their friends all together again. One of the former friends, Naruko Anuru Anjo, drops by Jintan's house to drop off some homework, but is on bad terms with him. It's revealed that Jintan has poor school attendance. As Menma pesters Jinta to go after Naruko and talk to her, they both go into the city where they run into two other former friends, Chiriko Suruko Surumi and Atsumu Yukiatsu Matsuyuki, the latter of which reacts harshly when Jinta accidentally drops Menma's name. Frustrated, Jintan runs off and leaves Menma behind. Jinta begins to recall the past when he, Menma, and other friends were part of a group known as the Super Peace Busters that hung out together when they were children. One day Jinta accidentally hurt Meiko's feelings when asked if he liked her. He decided to apologize, but she died in an accident before he could. Back in the present, Menma visits her family's house. Jinta decides to search for Menma so he could finally apologize, and he checks out their old secret fort. Here he runs into the last of the six-fold friends, Tetsudo Popo Hisakawa. When Jinta tells Tetsudo about his visions of Menma, he instantly believes him. Meanwhile, Anaru ends up encountering Chiriko, though she soon breaks into tears when Menma is mentioned. It's revealed that Naruko blames herself for the circumstances leading to Menma's death. Tetsudo suggests that the wish Menma might want granted was to have a rare monster from a Nokemon video game, which Jinta buys from the game shop Anaru works at. He spends the night playing it before Menma comes back. The next day, Tetsudo runs into Atsumu and mentions what Jinta had told him about Menma. He later goes around Jinta's house and mentions that they would have to trade with another Nokemon game to get the rare monster. As a result, they visit Anaru, who decides and agrees to help them on the condition that Jinta starts attending school again. During the visit, Menma is happy to realize that Anaru still has an abundance of video games and manga, just like when they were kids. After spending the night gaming, they manage to get the rare monster, though it turns out not to be Menma's wish. Nevertheless, they are positive that somehow Menma's wish will be found out and fulfilled. Jinta, however, has found his own wish to apologize to Menma because of the incident. After being pestered by Menma, Jinta heads towards school but changes his mind when faced with insults from Naruko's friends. He goes to see Tetsudo, who claims he saw Menma the previous night. Jinta arrives home where Menma had attempted to make muffins that Jinta's late mother used to make. Though she claims she didn't go around Tetsudo's place the previous night, the next day, Tetsudo decides to hold a Menma search party barbecue event for the others. When Atsumu eventually appears, he also claims to have seen Menma. After Jinta keeps her from slipping in the same spot Menma died in, Naruko hints that he can probably see Menma because he loved her. Atsumu's claims of what Menma had told him differ from the thoughts of the Menma Jinta can see, so Jinta brings out the muffins that Menma made earlier, hoping to convey Menma's true feelings. The next day, Jinta is visited by Chiruko, who asks him to confront Atsumu about his fake Menma. As the gang gets together that night, they appear to spot a Menma running around in the woods, which turns out to be Atsumu wearing a white sundress. Atsumu blames himself for Menma's death, and Menma has Jinta to tell him things that only she and Atsumu know of. Later, Chiriko explains how she caught onto his obsession with Menma. Atsumu recalls that fateful day years ago when he confessed to Menma shortly after Jinta ran off, only to be rejected. Meanwhile, Jinta wonders why he hasn't been so focused on fulfilling Menma's wish lately. The next day, Naruko goes to a karaoke bar with her friends when a boy forces her to a love hotel. She is saved by the timely arrival of Atsumu. On the train ride home, Atsumu asks Naruko about her feelings for Jinta. She is conflicted whether or not she likes him. Meanwhile, Tetsudo tells Jinta and Menma, knowing Menma is there, though he can't see her, his theory that Menma is around because she couldn't ascend to heaven, but this just makes her upset. Trying to figure out Menma's wish, Jinta decides to make his long-delayed return to school. However, his return is overshadowed over rumors about Naruko having been spotted at the Love Hotel. As Naruko becomes noticeably upset by all the nasty gossip surrounding her, Jinta stands up for her and both leave class right away. With Naruko troubled about her parents hearing about the news, she decides to stay at the secret base and stops attending school. Hoping to find any clues to what Menma's wish might be, Jinta, Naruko, and Tetsudo visit Menma's house to pay their respects, where they meet her mother, who gives them Menma's diary, which they agree to read the next day. 
When Jinta mentions the visit to Menma, she becomes upset as she wanted her mother to forget about her so that she wouldn't be sad. Jinta in turn yells at her for never thinking of herself and runs off. Jinta, Naruko, and Tetsudo look inside Menma's diary where they find an entry about how the group wanted to make a firework to send a letter to God to help Jinta's mother, though modern laws prevented them from making one themselves. As Chiriko asks Atsumu why he didn't bring up that Menma called the others on that fateful day, he points out it was something that was to be kept secret from Jinta. Jinta's father points him towards a friend of his that can make fireworks, but it's revealed one would cost 200,000 yen to make. Jinta takes up a part-time job in order to raise money needed to buy a firework. Working at Naruko's game store part of the day and Tetsudo's construction site later the same day. Sometimes swapping shifts to get better pay, Naruko and Tetsudo also work hard and contribute to the fireworks fund. In the manga, Chiriko and Atsumu sell some items on eBay and donate money. Their school forbids part-time work. When Menma hears that Jinta is working instead of going to school, she rushes to the secret base where she overhears Naruko talking about the firework and then sees the work Jinta is doing for her. However, the next day the gang learns that the firework maker is no longer able to make firework for them. Under orders from Honma, they jump to the conclusion that Menma's father had forbid it. Jinta and others visit Menma's mother to ask about the fireworks, but she refuses, showing anger and sadness towards them about how they were able to grow up while Menma died years ago. Afterwards, Atsumu accuses Jinta of forcing his pain onto others, so Jinta decides to try to solve Menma's wish himself. As Jinta's multiple jobs begin to have a negative effect on his health, Naruko urges him to stop. She reveals that she felt happy when Jinta badmouthed Menma back then because she had a crush on him, later saying that if he were to grant Menma's wish, she would just disappear again. The next day, as Jinta goes with his father to visit his mother's grave, the others receive silent calls from Jinta's house phone. Jinta is later visited by Menma's brother, Satoshi, who tells him about his memories of Menma. As the others confront Jinta at the secret base about the silence calls they have been receiving, Menma arrives and makes her presence known by writing a brand new entry in her diary and dropping it on the floor. The episode starts at Jinta's house where they witness Menma's presence firsthand by moving objects which appear to be floating on their own to them. Afterwards, Atsumu says they should continue their efforts, going with Chiriko the next day to beg Menma's father for permission to have the fireworks made. As work on the fireworks begin, Atsumu becomes frustrated that only Jinta can see Menma, while Naruko is upset that she can't compare to Menma. As Atsumu tries to cheer Naruko up, Chiriko overhears Atsumu mention that he would go out with Naruko. After spending the evening with Tetsudo, Menma spots a carp in the river and goes to investigate, which scares Jinta when he spots her near the river, letting out that he wants her to stay forever. Menma begins to fade, her hands become semi-transparent, and the gang holds a party in Menma's honor in preparation for next day's fireworks. Chiriko becomes cold towards Atsumu, mentioning that on that day, Menma apparently wanted to do something for Jinta. On the night of the party, Atsumu has Naruko and Tetsudo pressure Jinta into admitting his true feelings for Menma in front of everyone. Walking home, Naruko laments his answer and her hopeless love for Jinta, and Chiriko reveals to Naruko her own hopeless love for Atsumu. More hopeless, because Atsumu's second choice is Naruko. On his walk home, Jinta asks Menma if she would rather stay here so they could be together. To which Menma responds that she wants to be with all of them, and she plans to go to heaven and be reincarnated. On the day of the firework launch, Satoshi comes to watch while Jinta has doubts of going through with it. As the reality of letting Menma go forever sets in, Jinta wants to stop the firework. However, he's too late. As the firework launches, Jinta suddenly hears Menma's voice. He looks behind and sees Menma admiring the fireworks. Jinta and the others think that Menma did not pass on because their feelings were selfish. Chiriko tells them she conspired with Menma the day she died, in the hopes of getting together with Atsumu, who she secretly has been in love with since childhood. Tetsudo had seen what happened to Menma on the day and felt guilty about it ever since. One by one, each of them reveal feelings of regret over their roles in Menma's death. After everyone cries, Jinta tells everyone about Menma's dream to talk with everyone, so they suggest he bring Menma to the base. However, Menma has started to disappear because she had made a promise 
Jintan's mother had accepted dying, but was concerned that Jintan was bottling up his emotions. Menma promised Jintan's mother to help Jintan learn to cry. Jinta carries Menma to the secret base, but when he gets there, he loses his ability to see her. Menma, distressed with what has happened, calls out that this is hide and seek. Jinta can hear this. As the gang try to find her, Menma writes some final messages to everyone. After reading the messages, they are each brought to tears. After shouting out to her, Menma calls, You found me! And Jinta and the others are able to see and hear her, enabling them to give their final goodbyes before she disappears. Later, Jinta starts going to school with Naruko, while Atsumu and Chiriko grow closer together. As for Tetsudo, he continues working on his part-time job and also tries to study again. Jinta and his friends return to the secret base and read Menma's final message, written on the beam in the secret base while thinking about the flower that blooms in the summer. Did you like this video? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Oh, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe buttons while you're at it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.